All right, so doing some work on the 8N here. Um, it started to miss in the woods, and uh, I got it home here, and it was missing. I couldn't get it not to miss. And uh, so I decided to take the spark plugs out and take a look at them. And that's what they look like. If I can get that to zoom. Or focus, I should say. You're not going to be able to see it. There. They're uh, pretty black. This one here is pretty impressive. This one has all sorts of chunks on it. That's how I took it out. So, and the electrodes on them too look worn down quite a bit. Yeah, when they're, these are, uh, the ones that were in here are Champion H12s, which I believe is the, the hotter plug. Um, and out of, oh God, this one really looks bad. That one's really full. We know it burns oil, but, uh, it's pretty bad. I don't know which one of these was the one that was missing. One looked a little wet in comparison to the others. So, and then what I'm putting in, I heard, I heard while well, I read online, which is not accurate at all, based on some tractor forms that uh, Autolite 437s are the plug to use. So I got two put in so far. Put a little bit of this uh, dielectric tune-up grease on the top here. And then uh, I'm hitting the threads with a little bit of never seize or anti anti seize anti seize. So this is what it kind of looks like. I'm assuming the plugs are bad. I think I want to say those plugs were 20 years old. Uh, I think when they were changed right around the time that I changed the water pump and I was still in high school. So um, I also on the other side here I did the. Uh, sediment bowl i noticed there was some stuff floating around it was clear i don't know what it was it wasn't chunks of dirt or anything so i took the sediment bowl down and then i uh cleaned it out so I, i've never done that before uh when i unscrewed this and dropped it down and then cleaned it out put the sediment bowl back up and screwed this tight and then opened up the valve no none of the gas would flow and i was like well, what the heck it's because this has such a good seal that it actually airlocked. So it locked this full of air and it wouldn't drop any gas. So then I took this and loosened it. I loosened this a little bit and all of a sudden then the gas just poured out. So I let it, uh, let that loose until it filled all the way up and overflowed. So I got all the air out of the system. Because otherwise, yeah, you'll probably have a problem with it airlocking or not, uh, not wanting to stay running. So... And I'll be honest, I don't know the last time the oil was changed in this thing either, which is probably sad. I know he doesn't do it once a year. It, I'd be satisfied if he did it once every 10 years, but I don't think it's, I don't think it has been. Um, the only thing it has going is that it leaks so much oil. I mean, I'm putting in probably, I don't know. So far I've bought three quarts and I've gone through about a quart and a half. So for a little bit I use it. Probably uses about a half a quart. A day out in the woods so we know it definitely burns oil and it definitely leaks it too so it's got that going for it so all right well i'm gonna get these uh other plugs put in here all right so i got them all installed looks good i'm not gonna uh start it or attempt to run it until i know i'm loading it to take it out to the woods i don't want it to follow up again so all right that's a pretty simple project there completed.